up guys how you doing it is lasty here welcome to sunday welcome to random pick day well done by the way for dragging yourself away from modern warfare remastered like i have uh, in order to do this commentary i'm sure a lot of you have been playing cod lately uh, i know that the hype is real for that game right now uh, but today i wanted to do a bronze silver gold version of the random pick so this is our bronze option, uh, and it's between 20 and 50,000 coins. On page number four, there's a bunch of 64 rateds. And of course, I saw Emre Moore and was like, yeah, that, that sounds perfect to me. We now move on to silver. And actually, page number one is the random pick player. And there's loads and loads of 74 rated Ian Acho. So, okay, Emre Moore, Ian Acho, strike partnership. I think that could work today. I have obviously used... Emery Moore, but never Ian Acho, so I wanted to see what he was like. And then on page 9 for our gold player, we get ourselves a Inform and Zonzi, 84 rated, so not the highest rated. I actually thought I was going to get a lot higher rated player than that, considering we had up to like 50,000 coins to spend. So it's nice to get an Inform, but we've got a bronze, we've got a silver, we've got a gold. I need to play in this 3-4-1-2 formation to get everything to really work. And I also wanted to make sure... That I kind of added at least another bronze, another silver in there somewhere. So that it's a proper bronze, silver, gold. And not just all gold players apart from the two, you know, other ones. So this is the team. There are still a lot of golds in it. But there are two silvers, two bronzes. Uh, and the team looks quite cool, to be honest. Uh, we've got Kalon Navas in goal. We've also got Nacho Fernandez And also Pepe at centre-back. Two Real Madrids getting the, the strong links to the goalkeeper. And then Kolodzizak is how I pronounce his name. Whether or not that's right, I don't even know. He comes in at centre-back and gets a perfect link to Nzonzi. Which means he can have two dead links. Um, and then right mid, left mid, we've got a bronze guy who plays for Man City whose name is Nemain. And then Royce, left mid. You can use Scherner, though, if you guys want to and you don't have the coins for Royce. And Zonzi's our first random pick player. He's 84 rated as a first in form. He's got 84 defending and 89 physical. That's exactly what I want in my centre midfielder. Uh, and he is, of course, six foot three, which is also amazing. We've got Obina here at Cam. He's a default striker. But in order to get the two links, I had to use him, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And then Ian Acho is our second random pick player. The Nigerian plays for Man City in the Prem. He has got 87 pace, 74 dribbling, 73 shooting. All right, not bad. 17,000 coins paid for him. And then Emre Moore is a bronze, is a beast. I love him so far. I've got a great record with him at the moment. 87 pace and 81 dribbling on a bronze. Okay, and four-star skill moves. Yes, please. Nice agility, nice balance. An all-round decent-looking lo player, to be fair. Hoping he'll do the business for me today. So that is the team. It's quite nice. In-game, I tended to sometimes move Royce into the middle. Like, maybe I'll switch him and Obina because... Royce is obviously a fantastic player, but he didn't score any outfield goals for me. He only scored from set pieces, so he scored this penalty here. Nice little run-up. Sprint run-ups, man. That's the way to do it because it just it forces the goalkeeper to make this snapshot decision, and normally they go the wrong way. And then I scored a lovely power curly. Power and curly free kick looks pretty damn good on the replay, especially just bent it around the wall and then into the back of the net. Solid free kick uh, from Marco Royce. We now move on to the couple of goals we scored with Emre Moore. And I played five games and he only got a couple of goals. In this particular team, Emre Moore was kind of nothing. Like he was alright with link up play and stuff, but I was really disappointed at his positioning. He didn't seem to get in the right spot at the right time to take the shots or any shots that I did take mostly got saved by the goalkeeper so I don't know I think I was a little bit spoiled after using the crazy boosted uh, Halloween scream version of Emre Moore and now this regular one just doesn't seem quite as good to me which kind of sucks however the Nigerian striker who plays for Manchester City my silver god Ian Acho is just that he is an absolute god I, I, I've, got, I've got a new favorite silver uh, I didn't expect him to be this good in the slightest and he scored like eight goals i think in the five games that we played and he scored four in this first game i was losing two nil uh, i purposefully built this team to have at least six nations in it so that i could play in the knockout for the uh, weekend league i actually played this game on thursday um and yeah so i, I did i did that so that I could I like I like playing in foot champions because there's no lag and all of this stuff and I can play how I want to play rather than dependent on the lag which you guys know I tell you that all the time um, 
And yeah, I didn't I didn't make it into the I made it into the final once, I think. Yeah, made it into the final once. I played five games, so I went through the, the tourney a couple of times. Uh, made it into the final once and lost. But a lot of the time, uh, I, I was just using a bronze, silver, gold team in a very sweaty tournament. So for me to come out on top quite a few times was pretty impressive. I was quite happy with myself, you know, quite pleased. Uh, obviously, most people come, go into these tournaments with, like, super teams, which... You know, and they and they put the old sweatpants on, really, really wanting to get themselves into the weekend league, which I I think is absolutely fine. Uh, if anything, when I come up against sort of park the bus, uh, really, really sweaty teams with pace abusing, like sweat goals, all of that stuff, and uh, attribute cards, anything like that. If it's in foot champions, I sort of I feel like I have to be all right with it and I sort of am because I know it's super competitive and all of that stuff but it's just in the online singles and and stuff where I hate park the bus I can't stand it but we scored a bunch of goals with the team and we did all right today uh, and I quite enjoyed using some slightly different players that I wouldn't normally have used out of the defenders though that right center back Nacho Fernandez definitely would recommend you changing him out for somebody else I thought he was a most definitely a weak link uh, also, the left centre mid, he was a weak link as well. The bronze on right mid did quite well, to be fair. And then Royce, of course, is a very, very talented player. Sort of wasted at left mid, in my opinion. Obina was better than I expected as well. Very quick and um, not too bad on the ball, which I was impressed with. However, Steven and Zonzi is my first random pick player. He's going to get a 5-star value for money and a 9 out of 10. I don't think I've used... A, a, like a centre mid or a DM in form that is as impressive as this guy. I love Nzonzi on FIFA. For some reason, he just clicks and works with my playstyle. And I love his physical and defensive attributes. Emre Moore then. And this is solely based on this performance alone. Gets 3 star value for money and a 7.5. So bang average for Emre Moore today. Because he didn't really do that much for me if I'm honest. And then Iheanacho gets a 5 star value for money and a 9.5 out of 10. Literally one of the best strikers I've used. He felt amazing. Definitely didn't feel like a, a silver in the slightest. Six foot two, loads of pace, decent strength with the finisher chemistry style on him. Uh, and I, I just, I got on really well with him today, which is a, a nice thing, of course. You know, when you get on with your strikers, you score goals, you win matches, you leave with a smile on your face. So, that is the random pick for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I also hope you now realise why I normally wear a white t-shirt. Because wearing a black t-shirt seems to make me, like, really, really pasty for some reason i guess it's the light settings and stuff with my camera so that's why i always wear a white t-shirt all of my other videos are going to be dotted around for you guys right now subscribe to the channel smash a like on the video have a great sunday and i'll catch you next time peace